Hey guys, welcome back. SKPSG here. What? <laughs> what was that? Is that your new intro now? Yeah, that's uh something I thought about yesterday. It's a completely original idea. Can we just keep the old one? <laughs> welcome to the channel, Scopus Gaming. Hi everyone. So today we will be addressing a question that has long plagued the Injustice Mobile community. For years and years. <laughs> How do you steal power in Phantom Zone? How? Is it even possible? Is it? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to watch the entire video to find out. <laughs> we, we have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't tell people we'll watch our own videos. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but seriously, mm -hmm. it's a legit question. Mm -hmm. I believe a lot of people have tried to actually complete it without success at mm -hmm. all. Some people in question, you know, if it's broken. Okay. So this is what this video is all about, is to investigate whether it is possible to complete the Power Steel Challenge and if it's possible, how do we go about doing it? That's right. First and foremost, we look to the Injustice Mobile Wiki, which is kind of the encyclopedia of the game. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if the wheel has already been invented, why do we want to invent a wheel again? You know, we can just look at a wheel and try to improve on the wheel. So the Injustice Wiki, in a sense, already has a lot of information on it. It may not have the most updated information. Mm -hmm. But like essentially it is the wheel that was invented. OG yeah. wheel. <laughs> so, so we looked at the a Wiki. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a Power Steel category page okay. which lists all the characters and gears that can steal power. Okay. Right. And we're gonna look through them and we're gonna I'm gonna ask you a series of yes or no questions uh -oh. for fun. Oh for fun. Oh okay, that's a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> so first off we have Yellow Lantern Hell Jordan. Mm-hmm. Does his passive actually steal power in Phantom Zone? Yes or no? No. And eh, no. <laughs> yes, his passive does in fact work in stealing power in Phantom Zone. Number okay. two, does Rebirth Raven's passive work in stealing power in Phantom Zone? Yes. And eh, wrong again. What the heck? <laughs> Third, Teen Titans Raven, does her passive work in stealing power in Phantom Zone? Yes. No. <laughs> you can help me. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Does New 52 Shazam's passive steal power in Phantom Zone? Yes. Ding, 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 you're right. Oh, I finally got one. I knew if I just oh. kept saying right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a test-taking tip right there. <laughs> okay. The last character on Injustice Wiki page that says he's able to steal power mm -hmm. does the Joker, the Batman who laughs, passive... Steal power in Phantom Zone. No. No? Yes. Yeah, yes. you're right! <laughs> <laughs> so, these answers might perplex not only my wife, but all of you viewers out there too. And mm. I can explain why. Okay, so all these characters' passives, okay. by definition, mm -hmm. do steal power. Right? Like, we look at Yola and Harold Jordan, he steals power whenever an enemy tags out. Okay. So that's when he's able to steal like 30% yeah. of the enemy's power. Mm -hmm. Likewise, Rebirth Raven, she's very well known yeah. to steal power. Actually, when she tags in, she's able to steal all the enemy's power. The enemy's power goes to zero and her power goes up to whatever the enemy has. Yeah, yeah. So by definition, her passive probably is the most accurate to that definition. Mm -hmm. However, the reason why both Rebirth Raven and Teen Titans Raven's passes mm -hmm don't count as a power steal in Phantom Zone yeah. is because of the way their passes are coded in the game. Oh. I have a clip here. If you notice, mm -hmm. let's look at Rebirth Raven when she tags in and she steals power from the enemy. And we hit pause right here. What does it say? It says... Power drain. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It says power drain. There is an important distinction mm -hmm. between power drain and power, and power steal. steal. Okay. Okay, so according to the definition of the game, when you drain power, it simply means that the enemy loses his power. Mm -hmm. This does not mean that you have stolen his power. So, for example, Nightwing's special one, yeah. okay, when he does his special one, he drains, he drains power. power. He does not, not steal. Stealing. So that's why, you know, okay. characters like Nightwing or Lex Luthor, his special one, it doesn't work mm -hmm. as many of you have tried yourselves. So again, Rebirth Raven's passive is supposed to fit the definition of stealing power. However, because of the way her passive is coded, which says power drain, mm. so the game thinks that she's only draining power and not, not stealing, stealing power. And that's why it doesn't work. Same thing with Teen Titans Raven. Raven. Let's look at the clip. 
and pause. What does it say? Power drain. Exactly, it's the same thing.、Mm-hmm. Although by definition, her passive takes away twenty five percent of the enemy's power,、mm-hmm. and she gains twenty five percent of power herself.、Yeah. So technically, you know, by the actual definition of the word, it would mean stealing power. However,、yes. because of the way the game is coded、mm-hmm. and it's labeled as power drain. So her passive doesn't work in Phantom Zone、okay. for the power steal objective. So the coding is important、well. for Phantom Zone. Yes, and then of course we look at Yellow Lantern Hell Jordan. We look at New Fifty Two Shazam. And we look at the Joker the Batman who laughs. You can see. That it clearly states yeah, power, power steal, steal.、Yeah. and that's why their passes work. Okay, so question: Is there any characters you know besides the ones listed here whose passive steals power in Phantom Zone? That's a very good question. The answer is yes. In fact, <gasps> every character what? is able to steal power in Phantom Zone. Nani? What? <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't know you were Japanese, <laughs> but you know why? No. It's because there are certain gears that can steal power,、ah. and if you equip that gear on any character, so、mm, any any character、okay. can steal power. Be anyway, gears are able to steal power as well.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so there are three gears listed in the Injustice Mobile Wiki page、mm-hmm. that steals power. So first, let's do it again. League of Assassins set. Does it steal power in Phantom Zone? Yes or no? Yes. Eh, wrong. <laughs> Number two, Necron's scythe. Does it steal power in Phantom Zone?、Mm, uh, yes. That's right. Ding ding. Yeah, I saw your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Necron's scythe does steal power in、okay. Phantom Zone. And last but not least, does the Quick Engine steal power in Phantom Zone? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. yeah, so two out three, you passed. Congratulations. Pass. <laughs> so yeah, so the League of Assassins set literally, if you have at least two pieces of the League of Assassins set equipped,、mm-hmm. it does say in its description、Steel. here that it steals、right、power. There,、yeah. However, again, I'm gonna show you a clip.、Mm. And when an enemy tags out, what does it say there? It's power drain. Exactly. Again,、yeah. for some reason, although the description of the gear says power steal, yet when we see an enemy tagging out and the person with the League of Assassins gear stealing power, the game codes it as power, power drain. drain. Yeah. And that's why it doesn't work in Phantom Zone. Okay. Necron Scythe. The effect of Necron Scythe it steals both. Health and power at the same time、okay. when your health is below fifteen percent. So Necron Scythe does work in Phantom Zone, and the Quick Engine, same thing. It does say power steal. Okay. So that is how you know whether a character's passive or a gear will work in Phantom Zone in terms of power stealing.、Mm. That's to clear up all confusion because I know a lot of people have asked on the Injustice Mobile subreddit. You know,、mm-hmm. why is it that oh I use Reaper Thraven? You know, she's. I'm stealing the opponent's power, and yet it doesn't work, it, it doesn't work in、yeah. Phantom Zone, and they're wondering why. Well, here it is. It all depends on the way their passes and the gears are coded, are coded in the、exactly. game. So we've passed the first hurdle. Okay, we at least know which characters or which gears work in stealing power in Phantom Zone,、mm-hmm. right? Now it's still very difficult to complete the Phantom Zone objective, and there are two main problems. Why? So problem number one, completing the Phantom Zone power steal objective relies on the opponent having power in the first place to yeah, steal. Yeah, to steal. Yeah. Yes. And there's a small window of opportunity to steal power when the enemy has it,、mm-hmm. because the AI behavior they love to spam specials the、of、moment、course. they have like、of、one、course. bar、yeah. or two bars、mm-hmm. of power. They don't like. It's gone. They're they're not like waiting for you. Oh. Please. I have two bars of power. Please steal it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're not gonna stand there and wait for you to steal power. Exactly. Okay. The moment their bar is full, they immediately spam it. That's just how the AI works in、mm-hmm. the game, and that's annoying. But that just makes it really difficult to,、mm. in the first place, for them to have the power, and in the second, for you to get the timing right to steal to it. To steal it.、Yeah. Right. So you're essentially playing on their terms.、Mm-hmm. So that's the first major obstacle or difficulty to completing the power steal challenge. And problem number two, the amount of points that you need to attain to complete the、mm-hmm. objective is simply 
a lot. Like it, it's, it's 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 almost uh, ridiculous. It's a crap ton. Yeah, that's for sure. The total points you need to gain is nine thousand eight hundred and fifty points oh, wow. or power. And how does this translate to actual、uh, gameplay?、Mm-hmm. So when you steal one bar of power, that equates to only fifty points. Okay, so、mm. to complete nine thousand eight hundred and fifty points, you'll have to steal one hundred ninety-seven, almost two hundred full bars of power. That's ridiculous. To reach nine thousand eight hundred fifty points and actually complete the objective. And it's hard because they're not just sitting there. Long、yes. So this. So that's the. Yeah. That's the first problem we've talked about, and、mm-hmm. this is the second problem that there's just、yeah. so many points,、uh, so many bars of power to steal that is, you know, almost. It seems. Pretty much impossible. Yeah. In fact, if you tried completing the power steal objective in、mm-hmm. Phantom Zone, more likely than not, you'll find yourself inadvertently completing other objectives first、um. before you even manage to complete the power steal objective.、Mm-hmm. Yes, Ember Mist, I'm looking at you, <laughs> and I'm referring to you among others who have actually attempted to、mm-hmm. complete the power steal challenge. So let's get to the real question here. Yes, the bottom line. Is it even possible? To complete the power steal objective in Phantom Zone, dear Scopus, is it possible? As far as I know, no one has ever done it. Looked in Ninja's most subreddit or on YouTube, I haven't seen anyone actually complete it. Okay, then that being said, would it not be possible? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's because Scopus hasn't tried it. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> wow, you actually did it. Scopus Gaming, you're my hero. <laughs> okay, I actually made her say it. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't say that naturally.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, if you would like to know how I did it, how did he do it? Keep watching the video, and by the end of the video, you will know how to steal power in Phantom Zone like I stole my wife's heart. Can we just move on with the video, please? <laughs> well, actually, it's not such a great feat, really. Remember how I mentioned there were two main problems to actually completing this power steal challenge? Yeah. So all I did was found ways to overcome these two problems, and that's how I completed the objective. Okay, so the first problem that you face is that you're playing on the AI's terms. How did you overcome that? So the problem with playing by the AI's terms、mm-hmm. is that you don't have a lot of control、mm-hmm. over the different variables,、mm-hmm. right? You don't have control over how much power he's generating, or when you can steal his power. Yeah. So to overcome that, I play it by my terms. Okay. Now, how did I do that? So usually, when we try to complete the Phantom objectives, we play mostly online multiplayer matches because they have the multipliers there. That helps you complete objectives quicker. However, when we play online matches,、mm-hmm. we will be matched with opponents that are pretty much equal or even stronger or have even higher stats than your team, and so that's why it's difficult to control that. So I overcome that by playing on survivor mode.、Mm. So yes, I will be losing out on the online battle multiplier.、Mm-hmm. However, I'm able to control the other variables better.、Mm-hmm. Because Survivor starts off with really easy opponents. Okay, they they have、That's、way、right. lower stats, and then slowly、mm-hmm. as you progress with the different fights,、mm-hmm. their stats get stronger and stronger. So we want to play on a fight or level that has a balance of the AI not dealing too much damage to yourself, so that you're not able to steal power. But at the same time, you don't want your opponents to be too weak. Mm-hmm. Because if they're too weak and you just land a hit on them, they're already dead, yeah, and yeah. you can't even steal their power. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm in the same boat with you. So I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and show you the actual clip of how I did it. Okay. I go into survivor mode.、Mm-hmm. I equip the Necron's scythe gear on Flashpoint Batman,、mm-hmm. and I go to at least fight six or fight seven,、mm-hmm. and that's where I let the opponent. Reduce my health to less than fifteen percent, so that the Necron's scythe will take effect,、mm-hmm. and that's when I start stealing both health and power when I、that's、attack、right. the enemy、that's、with、right. basic attacks.、Mm-hmm. As you can see here, I am letting the opponent reduce my health so that it's lower than threshold for me to steal power and health.、Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they are not doing too much damage to knock me out because they are only at fight six or seven. Yeah. So this way, I'm able to consistently steal power, and also when they're attacking me and I'm blocking, they're generating power. I let them generate just enough right before their power bar goes full. Okay. 
That way, they are not able to spam specials.、Mm. So just before their bar is completely full, that's when I hit them and steal their power again.、Oh. So that is my way of playing、oh. on my terms, terms, because I'm able to control how they generate power, when they generate power, and I'm able to control before they are able to spam their specials. I'm able to steal it, and at the same time, I'm also not being knocked out. Because their stats are so low that they can't, can't kill me yeah. easily. Yeah. Because we're only at the earlier stages of、mm. Survivor. As for gears, here I use the Necron Scythe、mm-hmm. to steal power. I feel like while the Quick Engine's power steal also works, it relies too much on Tagen. Yeah. And there is a cooldown on Tagen, as、mm. you know. So stealing power with the Quick Engine is just slower compared to using the Necron Scythe, where you are able to steal power immediately by just hitting the opponent with basic attacks. Mm-hmm. So I prefer Necron Scythe over the Quick Engine, and you can equip the Necron Scythe on any character、mm-hmm. to steal power. But of course, Flashpoint Batman would be the best candidate because he is pretty much the strongest basic damage dealer in the entire game compared to、um, other characters. So that's why I equip the Necron Scythe Flashpoint Batman. As for other gears, I equip him with the OP pill or Super Pill,、mm-hmm. and the third gear can be any basic damage gear. Uh, whether it's like the Prometheum Longsword or the Blade of the War God or Powered Eskrima Sticks, any basic damage gear you can equip on Batman. It doesn't necessarily have to be on Fight Six or Fight Seven of Survivor. It really just depends on your team stats.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, your Flashpoint Batman stats. Mine's at Elite Seven. I have all of his、uh, stats fully augmented. So for me, the sweet spot was at fight six or seven. But depending on your Flashpoint Batman and his promotion, you might have a different fight or level that is more suitable for him,、mm-hmm. so that he does not die easily. But at the same time, you're also able to steal power.、Mm-hmm. So you, you're just gonna have to experiment and find out which fight of Survivor is best for you. Which is a bit of a trial and error thing. That's right. Wow. Cool. So what about problem number two? How did you manage to steal over two hundred bars of power, which is over nine thousand points? Right. So in actuality,、mm-hmm. I did not, in fact, steal over two hundred bars of power. Okay,、yeah. this is where multipliers come into play,、oh. and multipliers are really important because it basically cuts down the amount of points required even more than half, depending on your multiplier. So the most common multiplier is the times three.、Mm-hmm. If you are able to complete a match、That's、with、right. all three alive. You will get a multiplier of three.、Mm-hmm. Whereas if one of your teammate dies, then you won't get the multiplier,、mm-hmm. right? So、mm-hmm. keeping all of your cards alive is really important because that's essentially three times the efficiency. So imagine if you divide it two hundred by three, so you only have to steal about sixty-seven bars of power compared to two hundred bars of power. That's a big difference. And for、sure. yes. There are other multipliers. If you're lucky, on the power steal objective itself, for example, there is a times five multiplier.、Mm. If you have, say, a Red Sun Wonder Woman on your team,、oh. and so you, of course, you will want to include Red Sun Wonder Woman on your team.、Mm-hmm. And if you have both multipliers together,、mm-hmm. it stacks additively,、mm. meaning times three times five, three plus five, eight. So it becomes times eight. Exactly. So imagine if you had both multipliers on. Mm-hmm. You would only have to steal exactly twenty-five bars of power <laughs> instead of two hundred. You have eight times the efficiency. Imagine that.、Wow. So that's why multipliers are so important if you want to complete the power steal objective. That's right. So because I was able to overcome the two problems that we've mentioned, I was able to complete the challenge. <laughs> to conclude, the answer to whether it's possible or not,、mm-hmm. yes. And while it is possible, it is largely impractical because of the circumstances that we've already mentioned.、Mm-hmm. And even after completing the objective, there is no special reward or extra thing that you get from completing、wow. such a difficult objective.、Yeah. Like it would be different if you got like maybe seven hundred elite crystal points or、mm-hmm. something. But you're only getting 135, same as any other Phantom any Zone other. objective, which are way easier to complete.、Mm-hmm. NRS, if you're watching this video, listen up. You could either fix the bugs the way the game is coded, so that the characters or gears would actually steal rather than register as power drain.、Mm-hmm. You could do that, or you could reduce the amount of points required. You、mm-hmm. know, nine thousand eight hundred fifty two hundred bars of power is really kind of just excessive. Yeah, it may be just nine hundred eighty five points, ten times lower、mm-hmm. the amount. That would help for the objective to be much more achievable. You could also increase the reward if you don't want to change the circumstances.、Right. Like if you're able to complete such a difficult objective, you get like 750 points toward the total elite crystal points.、Mm-hmm. 
we definitely need a change or a balance to this phantom zone objective so that it actually makes sense yeah, that's when people right. play the game because currently you know people just skip it all together i mean i understand why you know it's pretty much impossible to most people mm-hmm. and even if it's possible like i did it was very time consuming it was very impractical i would rather yeah. i could just do other objectives so anyway that's uh that's all we have to offer regarding information about the power steel challenge that's it today on fact or fiction <laughs> Hey, I like the ring of that. Maybe hey. maybe we could actually start a series on that or something. That would be fun. Yeah. But anyway, um, you know, I might be wrong about no one ever completing it. Maybe someone has already completed it before I did and just never posted about it. If you have or if you have other ways of stealing power in Phantom Zone, mm-hmm. please don't hesitate to comment down yeah, below. Let us know. We would very much like to know. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.